An overnight playdate party helps two couples realize the missing puzzle in each of their marriages. Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. My name is Luke and today we're covering the 2015 bedroom rodeo comedy, The Overnight. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. A wonderful day starts with some morning glory, as demonstrated by the married couple Emily and Alex. The two lovebirds are enjoying a mechanical romp, later spicing it up with some puddle snuggling. Their son RJ is already awake and calls out to his parents. Suddenly RJ barges in, interrupting their dance in between the sheets. The awkward experiences parents go through. <sighs> Emily and Alex have many boxes to unpack after recently moving from Seattle to the Sunshine State. They're preparing to accompany RJ to a birthday party. Emily appears overdressed for the occasion, and this catches Alex's eye. Emily admits to him that she wants a head start on work. Alex is worried about going alone since Emily makes new friends easily. Being in her company helps him get out of his shell. Emily convinces him that he'll do great despite his protests. With a heavy heart, Alex accompanies RJ to the birthday. At the party, RJ mostly watches his son on the playing field. Short on social graces, he struggles to connect with the other parents. Just as Alex suggests they leave, Emily surprisingly drops by with a pack of treats and the party continues. RJ is doing better at making friends and meets a boy called Max. Emily and Alex could not be prouder. Their moment is interrupted when a strange man chats with RJ and Max. The strange man walks up to them and introduces himself as Kurt, marking the beginning of their friendship. Kurt and his wife have been living in California for the past two years. As they chat, Kurt asks them about school touring to help RJ pick a school. He notices that the couple has not thought that far, and he offers to do their letter of recommendation. To keep the conversation going, Kurt invites Emily and her family to their ritual pizza night that evening. Alex is skeptical about going, but Emily agrees. The opportunity to interact with new people has presented itself. With cheap wine in hand, Emily, Alex, and RJ make it in time for pizza night. They're welcomed by Charlotte, Kurt's French wife. As they get to know each other, Kurt has Alex try some experimental water he's purified from sewage. The night turns out to be a success. Emily and Alex want to leave and take RJ home, but Kurt and Charlotte persuade them to stay longer. Kurt suggests that RJ and Max sleep upstairs in the meantime. With the kids asleep, the adults gather in another room. They find out that Charlotte is an actress and exploring different interests and hobbies. Alex is amazed that she acts and compliments her on her beauty. This makes Emily envious. Emily and Alex request to watch Charlotte's movie, but quickly find out it's an adult instructional video on using a breast pump. Things get awkward, and Kurt volunteers to bring a bottle of wine to lighten the mood. In addition to the wine, Kurt also brings some devil's lettuce to get the party going. They party hard as they drink the night away. Kurt shows Alex the collection of his acrylic paintings of cornholes from sample pictures of his models. Inspired by Kurt's work, Alex makes up his mind to take up painting. Meanwhile, Charlotte gives Emily a tour of her bedroom as they eat some sweet treats. Emily admits that she craves feminine energy because she's always around the boys. Charlotte advises Emily to get her own space. She reveals that she and Max have separate bedrooms and give each other the space they need. Back in the studio, Kurt wants to photograph Alex as his muse. He persuades Alex to take his shirt off for a better effect. Charlotte and Emily decide to go see the guys. Emily worries that Alex may be too happy-go-lucky from huffing and puffing most of the brown Buddha. The ladies walk in just as Alex is shirtless on all fours, wagging his imaginary tail for the camera. Emily is stunned to find Alex in a compromising position, and especially letting loose. As they gather themselves, Kurt starts to strip and proposes that they go skinny dipping in the swimming pool. Charlotte is open to the idea and the couple's already down to their birthday suits. Emily and Alex think twice because they're very uncomfortable. Emily and Alex have a word before agreeing to the plan. Alex is wary that his junk does not match up to Kurt's. Emily is supportive and they resolve to join Charlotte and Kurt on the condition that they get to keep their inner wear on. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. 
The debauchery continues as they pop champagne and frolic in the pool. It all seems to be going well until Alex throws up beside the pool, forcing them to take a breather. Instead of changing and relaxing, Alex decides to continue drinking champagne as they all relax in a jacuzzi. As they have a heart-to-heart, -heart, Alex admits to leaving his boxers on because of the size of his twig and berries. Kurt is encouraging and pulls him aside to give him a pep talk and remind Alex of his awesomeness. Convinced that he's a stud, Alex and Kurt decide to put on a show for the ladies. Alex is the first to take off his boxer shorts, followed by Kurt. Emily is shocked as she observes disapprovingly. Alex is in the feeling of a breakthrough and he feels more confident about himself. Emily insists that they call it a night because she suspects their visit will turn into a swingers party. Alex is in the groove and asks Emily to lighten up and enjoy the night. The alcohol runs out and Charlotte asks Emily to accompany her for a booze run. Emily notices that there are several bottles of liquor, but Charlotte insists that they leave. Back at the house, Kurt is narrating to Alex in detail about buttering Charlotte's biscuit and the escapades he enjoys. Kurt tries to get Alex to buy into the idea of giving in to their imaginations of being with other women outside of their marriages. Alex finds this strange but does not bother questioning Kurt. Charlotte requests Emily to drive the car since she can't drive. They arrive at a strange spa. Emily questions where they are, but Charlotte is determined to keep it a surprise. Charlotte locks Emily in a room and tells Emily to watch her from a peeping hole. Emily is surprised to see Charlotte fondling another man. On the ride back home, Charlotte confesses to Emily that this is her guilty pleasure after being married for 10 years. Kurt doesn't know about Charlotte's clandestine ways. Charlotte and Emily arrive just as Alex tells Kurt that Emily has only ever been with Alex. Emily tries to tell Alex about her awkward encounter, but he brushes her off as being a party pooper. They hear the boys wake up via the baby monitor, and Alex jumps at the opportunity to go check on them. He's startled to meet Charlotte lurking in the corridor. She asks to talk to Alex in the bedroom, leaving Emily and Kurt in his painting room. The situation is dialing up a notch. Charlotte is concerned if Alex finds her attractive enough to want a bone. Back in Kurt's room, Emily interrogates Kurt to come clean about himself and how he earns a living. Kurt decides to play Emily another breast milk pumping video which he leverages on porn sites. Emily's taken aback that Kurt and Charlotte are calm about it all. After watching the video, Emily and Kurt go to join Charlotte and Alex. Charlotte attempts to kiss Alex to get him to relax. Emily and Kurt instead find Charlotte giving a massage. Giving Alex a massage. Alex is relieved to see Charlotte. They step into a bathroom and Alex tells Emily that he now believes her hunch about things being weird. Emily also tells Alex about their visit to a massage parlor. Emily and Alex have only been with each other. Emily worries that Alex may want to explore his fantasies with Charlotte. However, after an argument starts, Alex discovers that Emily is projecting her desires on him. Emily's the one who wants to explore what Kurt has to offer. Alex barges out of the bathroom and heatedly confronts Charlotte and Kurt. Alex demands answers about his birthday suit display and Charlotte purposefully shows her rack to everyone. Charlotte admits that Kurt is interested in Alex. She confides in Emily and Alex about trying to bring back the spark in her marriage. Alex and Emily are stunned. They decide to open another bottle and light up some Mary Jane for comfort. The whirlwind of a night makes them lose track of time. They only realize it's almost time to leave at 6 in the morning. As they're bidding their goodbyes, they decide to embrace in a group hug, which is their undoing. The curiosity and steam are through the roof. Alex and Kurt start to give each other some tongue service. Charlotte and Emily refuse to be left behind and join in the fun. The inevitable seems to be coming to fruition. But the party is abruptly stopped when Max and RJ barge into the room after waking up from their slumber. The couples are mortified and they hastily jump up to cover themselves as Kurt takes the boys downstairs for breakfast. Weeks pass by. Emily and Alex are on their usual routine accompanying RJ to the park. RJ meets Max and they're reunited. Kurt and Charlotte head over to say hi to Alex and Emily. The encounter is a bit awkward, but they make it work. Kurt opens up and shares that he and Charlotte are in therapy to try to make their marriage work. The overnight pizza party was all the couples needed to realize what they should improve in their relationships with their romantic partners. This is a great film for a movie night. What tricks have you tried to bring back the spark in your relationship? 
Let me know in the comments below. And of course, be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the recap and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one. Until next time.